Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. Knights of the Flaming Rose at a peace summit. I wonder whose side they're on. On that of whoever paid them. Any idea who might have summoned them? Radovid. Now the scum of the Order wear the Redanian coat of arms as they burn pyres. Witch hunts are their favorite pastime, or so I've heard. Radovid witnessed what the Order did in Vizima. He saw the Grand Master's madness with his own eyes. Yet he gave them a new home. For a good reason, I expect. That's easy. He needed a whip against Eilhart. They've made camp outside the city walls. Means they're not here in an official capacity. Are they on vacation? Maybe they just don't want to stand out. Eilhart has a dragon up her sleeve. Radovid has invited a unit of the Order's Knights. Don't forget Sheila and Henselt. It should be an interesting peace summit. You shouldn't let them see you. I know. To them, a good elf is a dead elf. It's not because you're an elf. It's because you're Yorvith. I'll try to enter the city through the caves. I'd advise you to do the same. The knights will know I'm wanted. You know of a passage? 
I know the cave nearby. There are many ways to enter Loch Muin, my friend. If Radovid has summoned the Order, I'm certain the others have brought their armies as well. The city must be full of soldiers. All of them sitting as if on a witch's bomb, waiting for a spark. But that may be to our advantage. If the rulers have holed themselves up in camps, it should be easy to move about between them. Let's go before we get noticed. I want to see Radovid. And who might you be? Geralt of Rivia. Murderer of kings! Get him! So, if you stand on Siegfried's side in Witcher 1, and you join the Order of the Flaming Rose, he's gonna help you at this spot. Knights of the Flaming Rose at a peace summit. I wonder whose side they're on. On that of whoever paid them. Any idea who might have summoned them? Radovid. Now the scum of the Order wear the Redanian coat of arms as they burn pyres. Witch hunts are their favorite pastime, or so I've heard. Radovid witnessed what the Order did in Vizima. He saw the Grand Master's madness with his own eyes. Yet he gave them a new home. For a good reason, I expect. That's easy. He needed a whip against Isleheart. They've made camp outside the city walls. Means they're not here in an official capacity. Are they on vacation? Maybe they just don't want to stand out. Eilhart has a dragon up her sleeve. Radovid has invited a unit of the Order's Knights. Don't forget Sheila and Henselt. It should be an interesting peace summit. You shouldn't let them see you. I know. To them, a good elf is a dead elf. It's not because you're an elf. It's because you're Yorbeth. I'll try to enter the city through the caves. I'd advise you to do the same. I know the Order's Grand Master. We once fought on the same side. I'll talk to him. Count me out. I'll try to find the caves that connect to the city sewers. We'll meet inside Loch Muim. Catch up to me if you change your mind. Vafel. Halt! Drop your sword! I know you. You're the Witcher of Rivia. You murdered... Leave him. But Grandmaster... Enough. Leave us alone. Welcome, Witcher. Siegfried of Danel. Glad to see you, Grandmaster. As am I to see you. Hmm. So tell me, what are your knights doing at a peace summit? I owe you much, Geralt, and by the gods I'm on your side. But there are things of which I simply cannot speak. I heard you're in trouble. And I've come to Loch Muin to get out of it. There's quite a price on your head. Letters and orders have been issued, bounties offered. Do you believe I've been killing kings? You never do anything without good reason. And I fail to see how you would profit from plunging the North into chaos. You're right on those counts. You've probably been camped here for a while, so you must know if Philippa Eilhart is in Loch Muin. She was just arrested and charged with high treason. By whom? Radovid signed the order. My men, along with some Redanian guards, captured her. You look worried. A Grand Master bears great responsibility. What's your responsibility at a peace summit? Nobody believes in a peaceful resolution to these talks. Even Radovid? Radovid has great plans, and few or no scruples. A true monarch. Other kings are priestesses of Melitele compared to him. I'm glad the Order of the Flaming Rose survived. In no small part thanks to you, Witcher. We've only just planted roots in Redania, thanks largely to Radovid's grace. He promised us land near Rogavin, and I aim to erect a fortified castle there the largest fortress in the north. Barrienmerg, we shall call it. You'll hear of it soon. Have the talks begun? They started this morning. Yesterday, all the delegations were busy situating themselves, their armies, courts, and servants. They're all defensive, wary of threats, 
and there's protocol to keep in mind. As a result, heavily armed units patrol most streets while the rulers sit enclosed in their quarters until it's time to deliberate when they venture out at the head of small armies. The air is thick, Witcher, and my men wager two to one that we shall see action by sundown at the latest. The main talks, when will they begin? The next meeting will decide the fate of the Pontar Valley and whether the Council and Conclave will be re-established, if that's what you ask about. That's precisely what I wanted to know. When did the Order of the Flaming Rose jump in bed with the Redanians? When Radovic granted us land. The Order's Supreme Council has sworn allegiance to him. Now we're his personal guard. Interesting move for such a young king. Good for both sides, really. The Order needed a place to call its own, and Radovid had droves of opponents, most of whom we've already rendered harmless. After Vizimir's death, practically everyone tried to tear off a piece of the realm for themselves. Precisely. The young king now strives to consolidate his power. He's a capable and very ambitious man. I have to talk to Philippa. She's in a dungeon in the Redanian camp. No one's allowed inside. Just let me in through the gate. I'll take care of the rest. All right, but be careful. The city's like a witch's bomb, one spark and... Don't worry about me. Where's the Redanian camp? You must find the central square. I'd advise you to stay clear of the other camps, especially the Temerian one. They still believe you slew their king. Like the other delegations, they've barricaded themselves in one of the city quarters. Mm. Radovid occupies several buildings on the eastern wall of the square. Quite easy to defend, I might add. Good luck, Witcher. I vouch for this man. Treat him as the Order's guest. I'm giving him my ring. Yes, Grandmaster. We'll alert all patrols. The city's crawling with armed men. It's been divided into several sectors to avoid conflict. Each has its own guards who keep the peace. Don't start any fights or use magic and all should be well. You just called my very existence into question. I'm merely warning you. May the eternal fire guide you, Witcher. I doubt you've changed your minds about non-humans, but what about humans? What about all the peasant revolts, the lynchings of nobles? The Order espouses and safeguards certain values and virtues. We cannot stand by and watch them violated. So you're prepared to get drawn into new wars? Well, we are soldiers first and monks second. The mages invested quite a bit in putting this summit together. By the look of things, they'll achieve what they set out to achieve. That doesn't bother you? The Order will refrain from reacting for the time being. And the Conclave itself is not a bad idea. Easier to keep an eye on them when they're together? And when they follow a shared set of rules. After Thanid, they dispersed and each did as he or she pleased. We even heard that some engaged in forbidden magic practices. I guess you won't stay out of it if that happens again. We trust that with a strong, well-established Conclave, the mages will regulate those matters on their own. Guards. Renounce. I shall pray, pray for you. And repent. I shall pray for you. Greetings. Greetings. Polycarp of Rhind, half brother to the Order of the Flaming Rose. Something tells me I'm dealing with Geralt of Rivia. Is that something, Siegfried? Grand Master Siegfried of Denel. Yes. How are you faring in Redania? King Radovid supports our mission and has provided many examples of his grace. He'd be hard-pressed to find better warriors. I should have warned you. I've no sense of humor. Oh, sorry. And how is Siegfried doing as the Grand Master? Siegfried of Dinel is a man of great virtue and wisdom. Does he still hunt cockatrices? Prayer and the Order's matters take up all his time, day and night. But he does leave the confines of the monastery from time to time, doesn't he? Not long after Belatane, he and two brothers forayed into the Tretagor forest and cleared it of werewolves. There was much rejoicing in the surrounding villages. You take care of the Brethren's armor, right? I have that honor, yes. I need your help. I don't use heavy armor, but... 
You're not a member of the Order. Just show me your goods. Look at this unique sword. Blessed be the eternal fire. Mutant. In its radiance we live. In its heat we eagerly battle. Wait till I bless you. Regards. Regards. I remember you from Vizima. Regards. Immortal Light. Regards. Renounce greetings. witchery and repent. Regards. Renounce Regards. witchery and repent. I shall pray greetings. for you. Help us keep the chat. So basically that's it if you let Siegfried live and join the Order of the Flaming Rose. And now let's go back to our own path.
and we got a new sword which is actually better than ours amazing should I take it? nah Good you're here. Look what I found. Keep your distance. Already forgotten that a similar creature hung around my cave. I wonder how many more will turn up. There's a forested valley on the other side of the city, once teeming with wildlife. It's now dead. The royal delegations arrived here. As the years went by and the climate turned colder, the Vrans had less and less food. 
Their hunters descended to the lowlands where they encountered the first human settlers and their plagues, typhus, dysentery and pneumonia. The Vrans began to fall ill. They tried to save themselves, building an aqueduct and sewers that rival today's. But it grew colder, and the canals remained frozen for most of the year. When the elves arrived, they encountered only ghosts, a dead city falling into ruin. The Enshe rebuilt it, restored its former beauty. Humans did not arrive here for many years. Marshal Ravkonek then swiftly proved himself more deadly than all diseases combined. He attacked at night, murdering all the city's inhabitants. Most families died in their homes. The fires raged on for days. Nice, we found a winter shrine. And we got a new ability. Let's see. Nice, we got a freezing ice art. Now this is very amazing. This ability is the same as where it is. As this one. They are both DLC abilities. And this one, the winter one, you can only get it by doing Jorvet's path. I don't know a way to get it on Roach path. So if you know the way, let me know in the comments. But of course, I'm gonna look for it on Roach Path. In our future videos. Okay, where is the book about poisons that I forgot to read? There it is. <clears throat> I 
and now we can continue. Dragon fire can turn a city into a flaming tomb much quicker than Raupenex arsonists. Philippa has a hold over Saskia, and she's not a. F We're in Loch Nguyen. We're on the fringes somewhere. We should find what we came for nearer the main quarters. Let's go. Okay, I want to reload and hear what Geralt wants to say fully. By the way, let's try out the art spell. Oh yeah, it definitely has the effect. Nice. When the elves arrived, they encountered only ghosts. A dead city falling into ruin. The Enshe rebuilt it, restored its former beauty. Humans did not arrive here for many more years. Marshal Raupenek then swiftly proved himself more deadly than all diseases combined. He attacked at night, murdering all the city's inhabitants. Most families died in their homes. The fires raged on for days. Dragon fire can turn a city into a flaming tomb much quicker than Raupenek's arsonists. Philippa has a hold over Saskia, and she's not afraid to use her. We need to hurry. We're in Loch Nguyen. We're on the fringes somewhere. We should find what we came for nearer the main quarters. Let's go. Damn it!
Look at that. Yorvith is just too much of a badass for this gargoyle. Magic or danger? Okay, so these two, this rune represents an animal, this one represents a sky, this one, let's see, yeah, this one represents art, and this one is time, and we did it. Now, would you look at that? Elder Blood Boots. Amazing. Okay, so you don't have to do this room right away. We could do it later, but since we are at this spot, why not? And it looks like the gargoyle gave up. The Yorveth was too much of a badass for him.
They gagged Philippa in the nick of time. She almost cast a spell. Rotting in the Redanian dungeon now in special shackles. Radovid's right to show the witches their place. I wonder what they'll do to her. Either the executioner or the monsters will have their fun. They say Logmoin's dungeons are full of scum of all kinds. No idea what they locked her up for, but every sorceress is guilty of something. True enough. Not likely to see anyone weeping for her. A dungeon befits Philippa Eilhard very well, though gallows would be even better. If they killed her, you can forget about healing Saskia. They must guard her as heavily as the Emperor's bedchamber. We'll not get in there. I'm in no hurry to visit the Emperor's bedchamber, but we've got to get into the dungeon. Look for a passage through the sewers. I'll locate Eilhart's quarters. If she didn't expect to be arrested, I may find something interesting there. Okay, so we can do this in two ways. The first one is to get arrested. And the second one is to sneak. So, first let's do the arrest. And then, after that, let's do the sneaking one. I can think of a quicker way into the dungeon than the sewers. I just need to get arrested. They'll take your weapons and put you in shackles. Though there is some chance you'll wind up in Philippa's cell. I'll manage. Wandering through the tunnels would take too much time. Let's go then. I'll find Philippa. You search her quarters. Right. We learned a lot the last time we browsed through her things. Va fail, Gwynblade. No, guards! What are you doing here? I worked awfully hard to see Philippa Eilhart in chains. I doubt you'll be so witty once we're standing side by side on the scaffold. Unlike you, I've done nothing that would get me hanged. To them, you're a Kingslayer. I assure you, Radovid's torturers will make you admit to anything. Even intercourse with trolls. Radovid's no idiot. He knows I'm innocent. Besides, I helped him once. Radovid is a politician. He'd gladly show the world he's an avenger of fallen kings. Sure, but before he does that, he'll gladly hear about your exploits in Vergen. By aiding the rebels, I weakened Henselt's position. And that's of paramount importance. Radovid is king of the hill. He has the deciding vote during the summit, thanks, among others, to me. Is that why he dumped you in this dungeon? This witcher is a little misunderstanding. Did you know from the start that Saskia was a dragon? I had suspected she was not what she seemed to be for some time, though I did not learn the truth until she fell poisoned and I could examine her thoroughly. I've seen the list of antidote ingredients. Not a word about the Rose of Remembrance. Well, we all prefer to have loyal allies. The Rose of Remembrance is very powerful. Even as a she-dragon, Saskia could not resist my spell. Why don't you summon her? You could use some help now. Dimeritium blocks all magic, telepathy included. Someone's coming. Your Majesty. I've waited long for this meeting. You left Redania so suddenly I had no chance to give you the send-off you so richly deserved. Your Majesty. I fail to understand why I have been arrested. I've done nothing but serve Redania's interests. Supporting the rebellion, undermining Hensult, risking my own reputation on your behalf. I'm no longer the little boy who believed your every word. Why do you do this, Radovid? I was there at your most trying hours. Without me, you would not be the man you are. I don't understand. 
You understand very well. You conspired against my father, Vizimir, and against me. The entire Redanian court once trembled in fear of Philippa Eilhart. Untrue, sire. You must let me explain. What are your charges, your majesty? Ambassador. Triss Marigold was kind enough to compile a list of persons making up the secret society known as the Lodge of Sorceresses. Some Nilfgaardian sorceresses were members as well, but you need not be bothered with them, my lady. Triss, you're mad! The Lodge ordered Demaven killed. It ordered Foltes killed. I suspect you played a part in my father's death. And if I released you from the Dimeritium, you'd kill me too. You're finished, Eilhart. There will be a trial, due process, everything as it should be. But know that you shall not wriggle out of this. You shall be convicted of conspiracy, treason, and regicide. They'll rip your flesh from you in bits before they burn you at the stake. Throughout my childhood, I felt your cold stare on the back of my neck. When I issued orders, my subjects would search with their eyes for Philippa Eilhart's gesture of consent. The entire court at Tretagor looked on as you humiliated me. All Redania laughed behind my back. You taught me to look everyone in the eye. Forced them to lower their gaze, do you remember? A king must never show weakness, uncertainty, you said. I've mastered that skill. Yet there is one I could never force to submit. You. You've one chance to shorten your suffering. Admit to everything, here and now, in the Ambassador's presence. Look me in the eye and repent. Submit. As you wish. Torturer. Put out those vile eyes. You're making a grave error, sire. We will talk again, witch. I refused to believe it when they told me Geralt of Rivia was in my dungeon. The Geralt I know wouldn't let himself be captured. I was really hankering for a tour of your dungeon, sire. What's so interesting about it? The guests. I apologize for the dismal company you're in, Witcher. Fortunately, Eilhart won't be with us much longer. I beg your mercy. Not for myself, but for Triss Marigold. Your friend is now in Ambassador Fitz Estelin's hands. I know, but surely Shillard won't deny you a small favor, sire. Forgive me, but I can't be sure that I won't require grander favors from Nilfgaard. The fate of entire nations will be decided in this city. Individuals are irrelevant. The Nilfgaardian ambassador mentioned an organization of sorceresses. Just so happens I'm interested in the plans of this Lodge. Those plans should interest no one, because the Lodge will soon cease to exist. I've nothing against you personally, Witcher, but you've gone from being an uninvited guest to being an awkward witness. I understand I'm in for an extended tour. You certainly shan't leave here before the summit ends. I'm flattered, sire, but you overestimate me if you think I could influence it in any way. Politics is like a complicated puzzle. Every piece may prove useful. Or equally useless, even harmful. A breakthrough awaits us here at Loch Muin, by my hand no less. This will be no second Thanid. Soon, everyone will learn what the Redanian King is capable of. You'll excuse me, but it's time for the summit. Radovid is capable, but too young. He has yet to understand that only the dead remain truly silent. Because Redania is doing Nilfgaard a favor, I feel obliged to help the king in return. Let Triss go. That would be foolish. If there truly is a place we go after leaving this Vale of Tears, 
You'll meet her there soon enough. Allow me to relieve the Redanian Executioner. What favor do you mean? You can tell me. Just like you said, the dead keep their secrets. That's true, but I prefer to be cautious. I promise to reveal every last detail as soon as your body is cold. Pity you won't live to see it. Lock Muin's in for a huge surprise, both the mages and the kings. Nobody likes others to decide for them. That's especially true of kings. You're dangerous, Witcher, and too independent. In time, Radovid will thank me, and he won't be alone. Kill him, but beware his sorcery. Hold him, heart. Nobody likes others to decide for them. That's especially true of kings. You're dangerous, Witcher, and too independent. In time, Radovid will thank me, and he won't be alone. Kill him, but beware his sorcery. Hold him, heart. Get me out of here! I need some answers first. Where's Saskia? When I was arrested, she was with Sheila. They must be on their way to the deliberations by now. How does the spell work? Saskia's will and mine are one. She cannot resist me. But fear not. There's no suffering involved. She merely believes me to be the most wonderful person in the world. As if she were in love. You know what's most beautiful? In spite of all this, she seems unchanged. She's retained her charm, her valor, her honor. I didn't track you alone. Yorvith can't wait to see you again. My death would change little. Yorvith and all like him have no right to judge others. Was Schiller telling the truth about the Lodge, the assassinations? He said exactly what Radovid wanted to hear. Half-truths, musings stripped of contexts, which differ very little from lies. Did Triss take part in all this? She's clean in those terms. Innocent as a child, but only to a point. I assure you, she has not been honest with you about many other matters. Why did all this happen? Murdering monarchs, what interests did it serve? I can't fathom. Help me get out of here and I'll explain all and lift the spell from Saskia. Take these shackles off me and lead me to my house. I beg you. I'll tell you everything. Everything. Clock's ticking. Time is of the essence. Why do you do this? Would you take vengeance on a blind woman? Shillard said they've got Triss. I have to free her before they put out her eyes too. Going to the Nilfgaardian camp is suicide. And leaving a friend is villainy. Only I know how to break the spell that holds Saskia. Get me out of here. If I die, she'll remain forever spellbound. Okay, so now we need to choose between Triss and Saskia. But before we do that, let's reload and try to sneak in into this prison. They gagged Philippa in the nick of time. She almost cast a spell. Rotting in the Redanian dungeon now, in special shackles. Radovid's right to show the witches their place. I wonder what they'll do to her. Either the executioner or the monsters will have their fun. They say Logmuin's dungeons are full of scum of all kinds. No idea what they locked her up for, but every sorceress is guilty of something. True enough. Not likely to see anyone weeping for her. A dungeon befits Philippa Eilhard very well. The gallows would be even better. If they killed her, you can forget about healing Saskia. They must guard her as heavily as the Emperor's bedchamber. We'll not get in there. I'm in no hurry to visit the Emperor's bedchamber, but we've got to get into the dungeon. Look for a passage through the sewers. I'll locate Alhart's quarters. If she didn't expect to be arrested, I may find something interesting there. The tunnels beneath the city sound reasonable. 
They used to lead almost everywhere, though some passages may have collapsed during the fires. It's still worth a shot. Let's go then. I'll find Philippa. You search her quarters. Right. We learned a lot the last time we browsed through her things. Va fail, Gwynblade. Okay, now let's explore this place a bit For full test! and have fun with the guards. No, I didn't want to do that. So there's the throne. And that's basically all I wanted to do. Just explore a little bit of this camp. Now let's go... This way. You stink.
I don't know how all of this didn't alert the guards, but okay. Magic or danger? Okay, so fish is the animal. Dying on a fresco. I guess that's art and time. And the end lightning should be the sky. Okay. The animal. Time. Art and sky. And voila. Wait, did we hit maximum level? Yeah, we did! Amazing! So, level 35 is the maximum level in Witcher 2. But I didn't use any talents. And I won't. Just for the sake of a challenge. I might use them on Roach Path.
I knew we'd meet again. Not you. Silgrat doesn't forget humiliation. What do you want? You won't win this time. All of Edern will know the power of Silgrat's fist. Stand and fight. Be off! Oh, the fucking shame. I don't believe you killed Foltest. I didn't. But a bounty is a bounty. I'm sure you understand. As a professional, <laughs> it's nothing personal. <sighs> One more windbag. Onward! Think of the bounty! But one man, damn it! Yes? 
I guess you're here about the war with Kedwin. They wouldn't let us near Natalis, and Radovid refuses an audience. Scandalous. The mages drone on about their coven of advisors, but even they don't take us seriously. Saskia is our only hope. Perhaps she can achieve something. The word is Henselt had a fit upon learning of our arrival. He's prone to having those. He's a troublemaker, not a king. It's a little more subtle than that. Henselt is to diplomacy, like Dandelion is to tutoring young noblewomen. The mages will be overjoyed if you sign their treaty. Any idea who'd be the advisor in Vengerberg? They insist on appointing the advisors themselves, though I doubt Saskia will accept that. Anything can happen. That lass will allow no one to control her. I've been observing her. She's a splendid commander. Making her even more dangerous if anyone manages to manipulate her. I'm not sure I understand. Just thinking aloud. Yes. Let's play dice. You must first defeat my teacher. He's a master of magic, but grossly my inferior when it comes to dice. How can I help? I want to play dice. You must first prove you're good enough by defeating the elves who play here. What can I do for you? Do you play dice? Would you like to join us? Anyone else I can challenge to a game around here? Two mages, but they refuse to play us. They only play masters, but beat us, and who knows? Another time. Care to play dice? I guess we already won. Congratulations, you've won. Thanks for the game. Care for a game. Okay, let's risk for two. And they've lost. You lose. Care to play dice? No. Care for a. G you win. How can I help? I want to play dice. I could use some coin. Shall we play now? Yes. You've lost. How can I help? I want to play. I could use some.
Nice. You've won. Who can I play next? My apprentice. She's a mere learner in magic, but she's a true master in dice. Yes. Let's play dice. Shall we? You fully deserve this coin. Who else can I play? The Incredible Lockhart. Sounds arrogant. Where do I find him? Somewhere around the market, most likely. Thanks. Damn monsters. No, come back.
Mm, nothing special. Well, well, welcome. welcome! Oh, it's a lovely day today. The hero of Visima. At your service. Now you tell me. I don't work with sorceresses. This is no job for me. What's going on? Are you about to fight? The Conclave has forbidden dueling. You can't just back out. We agreed. We have commitments to fulfill. You did take an advance on your fee. And I'm keeping it. Don't you follow me. Witcher Geralt. A sight for sore eyes you are. May we speak? Didn't expect to see you again. Certainly not here. Loch Muin is an intriguing place. For scientists especially. We've mounted a small expedition and require protection. What kind of expedition are we talking about? We have irrefutable evidence that Ebde Henna's laboratory is located in Loch Muin. We need an armed man to protect us from the filth in the sewers. They're infested with monsters. The details you'll get from our employer. A sorceress. Remember that potion you gave me back in Flotsam? Of course. How's the experiment going? Noticed any side effects? Or peculiar interactions with other potions? Yeah, every time I mix it with vodka, my tongue gets hairy. I know a thing or two about monsters, and about sorceresses. What's this one's name? I'm sorry, but we cannot disclose her name until you agree to join us. Nice talking to you, then. Cynthia! Her name is Cynthia! City. Everyone's heard of his Thousand Genie Curse, but few know that he also had a penchant for the history of Loch Muin. He was particularly interested in the Vrans and their ultimate decline as a civilization. In his memoirs, he mentions that he left his archive here. That's how we pinpointed the location of his laboratory. You did. The sorceress did, in point of fact. But we're the ones who know everything about Ebde Henna. I wrote my dissertation about the man. To arrive at the laboratory, we must pass through the sewers. All right. I'm willing to help. <laughs> you won't regret it. Where do we start? We've gained access to an ancient crypt where mages were laid to rest. It's beneath that tower. Our companions await us there. Good day. So, are you a sorceress now? It's not that simple. A pass is simply not enough. But Philippa Eilhart summoned me here for an important exam, so I hope to be one soon. An exam? A secret one. I'm not even sure how to prepare. I'm cramming intensely, everything bit by bit, just to be sure. Good luck. Still willing to sell me potions and herbs? I'm a student, aren't I? Every little copper counts. I'm collecting information about the Wild Hunt. Help me out. The Wild Hunt? A retinue of wraiths who speed across the heavens upon skeletal horses. Positive proof of its existence has yet to be proffered. However, no one is prepared to deny its occasional sorties into this world. Proffered? Sorties? That, at least, is what I remember from the lectures. Godspeed, Witcher. <clears throat> Witcher. 
I Greetings. don't want anything to do with you. I tell you, shatter your towers and crystal balls, break your wands and burn your hats. Turn away the black cat and the bat, the owl and the rat. Likewise, the frog. Diddle yourself, pauper. Greetings. Oh. Hey! What you staring at? Just curious to see what you were doing. I'll be going now. Yeah, fuck off, freak. Greetings. Greetings. I'm Geralt. Brass of Bannard. I remember you from Thanad. I believe I saw you in Oxenfurt, too. Seems we only ever meet on Elvenland. Indeed. But I suspect you're not here to chat about Elven ruins. On the contrary, I find Elven ruins interesting. Do you really? Elven works are not half as interesting as gnomish ones. But even ruined, Loch Muin is impressive. It must have been beautiful in the times of the First Conclave. Everything was better before the war, as they say. The sources, those children that old Geoffrey Monk brought here to train in the magic arts, must have walked around gaping at all they saw. Somehow I just can't imagine Hen Gedimdeeth as a small gawking boy. You met him? Ah, right, on Thanet. His death was a terrible loss. Terrible. You see, Geralt, everyone complains about how the world is taking a turn for the worse. Values are being compromised. The small is dislodging the great. Exactly. But the events on Thanet truly marked the end of an era. The world grew up, losing its virginity in a rape. What use are masters of magic and legendary heroes to a grown-up world? They're of no use. That's the point. Today, people manage perfectly well without mages, witches, and heroes. Yet not everyone understands that, and not everyone likes it. You're so clever, you'll get in trouble. We'd best change the subject. Actually, I'm here because of your weapon expertise. I'm no expert. You're the best swordsmith among mages. I'm more interested in the cultural relics of other races, actually. I'm going to need a solid cultural relic in my hand. I guess the circumstances require haste. I came upon this strange manuscript. Think you can help me with it? Hmm. Why, yes. I don't believe I'm mistaken. Do you realize what you hold in your hands? I wouldn't be asking if I did. You see, the Vrans knew well how to secure their treasures. It is said that in some places they left sentries. Now, these sentries come to life when someone draws near who possesses a scroll inscribed with words of power, like this one is. Provide the correct password, and the doors to a hidden vault open before you. So how do I use the manuscript? Ah, uh ah. -uh. Nothing comes free, my friend. You needn't even know the meaning of the words for the sentry to let you pass. You must merely know the sequence in which the password must be read. In this case, we have a sentence. 
Nana Kanpa, Zi Udu Ya Lala, Gat Exa, Nana Zi Udu, Zi Gat Kanpa Nibit. Nana Kanpa means forge ahead, while Nana Zi means backtrack. In summary, should you encounter a sentry who reacts to this scroll, you must first answer with the words that follow Nana Kanpa in their given sequence, then omit Nana Zi, and conclude with all the words that follow this phrase, but in reverse order. Not that complicated, actually. Thanks for your help. Lout! Erso, what are you doing here? No future in rat catching. I decided to pursue a career in entertainment instead. Good luck. This troop has potential. As their manager and master of ceremonies, I'll make these folk the most famous entertainers north of the Yoruga. See now a new number? Hold on, Erso, before you get all worked up. I've had more than my share of entertainment recently. What I need to know is if you still make traps. Anything for a colleague? Lecherous bodies, but not one sorcerer is vlogging another. It's a brazen attack. King Radovid will learn of this. <gasps> Radovid sent them, you idiot! The audacity! Pull yourself together! Hmm? Who'd have thought? Greetings. Nice place. Many thanks for the compliment. Welcome to the Eternal Fire. Kitchen open day and night? It's not that kind of fire. The Eternal Fire is the light of truth. The hearth of a true community. Only in the eternal fire beneath the sign of this clan can we burn witches all day and man is fellow man. This would never happen if the Conclave still existed. <coughs> I and if don't Grandma want had a anything mustache, to do with you. Greetings. She'd be a catfish. We must protest with all our power. Who'd have thought? Lout! Greetings. Greetings. And we also got Seldkirk's armor. Interesting. Let's leave all of this into Where's our Philippa? stash. She should pull down his pants and give him a thrashing in front of all those knights. It's a brazen attack. King Radovid will learn of this. Radovid sent them, you idiot! The audacity! Pull yourself together! And we will continue this in the next episode. 
So if you liked this one, give it a like, dislike if you think it sucked, and see you next time. Thank you.